Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jasmine Destine. If you're new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up, what's good, what's goody? We're back with a new video. I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day kind of vlog style video because I've gotten so many questions on Instagram, YouTube, literally everywhere about what I eat because I recently lost 20 pounds. I'm actually down 23 pounds as of yesterday. Um, earlier this year, I was bulking, so I was like eating in a calorie surplus, and I was doing a lot of weightlifting and just focusing on building muscle mass and putting on weight so that I can like, you know, build muscle and get nice and thick and juicy. And then I decided about three months ago that I was gonna start cutting because it was like the start of summer, and I wanted to lean out and now I'm on a completely different regimen so I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day um, like kind of what my calorie intake is I don't count my calories but I'm going to give you like a good kind of way to figure that out there are definitely apps that you can use all of that stuff which i've used before but i don't use currently but anyway yeah i'm gonna go through what i eat in a day I'm gonna just show you the meals like as i make them so yeah if you guys are interested in watching obviously make sure you keep watching don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up down below go ahead and click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed if this is your first time here then make sure you turn on those post notifications and yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I want to start off by saying, as I said earlier in the intro, that I was eating in a calorie surplus when I was trying to put on muscle because I was trying to grow my glutes and grow my quads and my hands. And I was really just focusing on growing my lower body. Obviously, you're going to put on weight everywhere else. Like, even though I was focusing on building muscle mass on my lower body, I was still putting on weight in my stomach, in my back, in my arms, my boobs, and my face. Like I literally put on weight everywhere. Um, I can see it in old videos and photos, but the focus was my lower body. So with my lower body growing, you're also going to get your upper body to grow as well. So I know that's probably like a little scary, obviously, if you're just trying to like focus on one area, but it's kind of hard to just target one area in your body to grow. Like there is gonna be some fat that goes to other areas. Then also when I was eating on a calorie surplus, I was only working out three days a week and I was only doing weightlifting and I wasn't doing any cardio. So my focus is just to build, build, build. Literally, like I was just focusing on lifting heavy and putting on muscle mass. Now, once I switched into my leaning out toning up and losing fat phase which is what i'm currently in i switched from working out three days a week to five days a week and in doing that i added two upper body days to my three lower body days that i was already doing but i also added doing cardio to every single day that i work out so after every single workout i still would go and i would do my cardio which for me is the treadmill i used to do the stairmaster like last year but honestly i feel like i've gotten way better results with just running on the treadmill walking on the treadmill that kind of stuff so my current workout split let's say i go to the gym monday through friday sometimes monday will be a rest day but let's just say it's a perfect week you know i had fun on the weekend but monday we're back in the gym monday is lower body day i do a ham and glute focus tuesday is upper body day it's back um and core and abs wednesday is lower body day with a quad and glute focus thursday is upper body day it's um chest arms and core and then friday would be a lower body day again with basically me hitting all three so quads hams and glutes um yeah that would be my workout split and after every single workout that week i'm still doing my cardio like cardio after weightlifting is so important i feel like this i used to do cardio before like i used to do cardio to start my workout to warm up my body i felt like i needed to like jump start my workout with doing cardio because it would get my heart rate pumping you know i'll be ready to go but you get way better results with weight um cardio after doing weightlifting because you burn most of your calories during weightlifting but once you start your cardio after weightlifting your body kind of goes into like this fat burning mode so it's targeting stored fat to power you through the cardio because you burned 
most of your energy throughout your weightlifting session that by the time you get to your cardio your body needs it needs more energy because now you're about to go do some running on the treadmill or you're about to go do 45 minutes on the stairmaster or whatever so your body goes to your stored fat areas to help those to grab energy from there to help you power you through your your cardio workout and burn more fat that's why doing cardio after weightlifting is so important if you really want to lean out you got to do the cardio after like you have to do it after and then oh I, what i also want to talk about on my um alternating days so out of the five days you know i have some upper body days and I have lower body days on my lower body days which is monday wednesday friday i'm eating i'm not eating in a calorie surplus i'm still eating like in a calorie deficit for the entire week but i do eat more high carb meals on those days because my body is working harder with me doing my i lift super heavy on my lower body days like i literally will do like 360 pounds on the leg press or i'm you know 120 pounds with the rdls or you know like i just i go really heavy on my lower body days because my legs are really strong so in doing that i want to replenish my body and make sure that i'm giving like carbs are not bad i don't want you guys to think that eating carbs especially if they're like good carbs is bad for you they're actually great for your muscles it helps with rebuilding your muscles along with high protein like carbs and proteins are going to be your girl you want to keep your fats kind of low and you want to keep your like sodium obviously low and sugars and all of that stuff you don't want to eat processed stuff but like in terms of like good clean meals it's okay to have high carbs and it's okay to be high protein obviously so yeah on my lower body days i'm eating high carb meals i'm eating high protein meals and on my upper body days i try to eat like a medium amount of carbs and i try to still eat high protein so my meals will look a little different um for instance like for lunch like on a low carb day i might have like a tuna melt but on a upper body day where i'm trying to eat low carbs i'll have like a caesar salad with grilled chicken so it's like it's not as many carbs like the only carbs really in the caesar salad is in is the croutons and then maybe like whatever carbs are in the dressing but that versus a tuna melt which has like bread obviously and then there's um the carbs and like the cheese and stuff it's a little bit more but it's still not bad for you like it's still okay it's just i try to eat less carbs on the upper body days because those are the days where like i'm really trying to be super snatched you know i'm working my upper body i want my other body to be super snatched and i want my lower body to be super fat <laughs> not fat but you, you know what i mean okay so the last thing i want to mention is intermittent fasting if you don't know what that is i have a quick little definition on the screen but intermittent fasting i typically do between the hours of 12 and 8 p.m and that's because normally when i wake up it's 9 53 now i've been up since like 7 honestly and even with me being up for about three hours now i'm still not hungry I don't really eat in the morning i don't have an appetite as soon as i wake up and that's pretty much because like i eat pretty full meals um in my 12 to 8 window sometimes i'll go a little bit past 8 i might eat around 9 or something but i eat pretty full meals that like when i wake up i'm still full i, I don't know like i'm not somebody that wakes up and i'm like super hungry as soon as i wake up so intermittent fasting kind of just like naturally was something that I was doing already before I even knew what it was. But then when I really looked into it, I was like, oh yeah, like I can totally do this. So typically I'll wake up between the hours of like seven and nine. Um, and then I try to get to the gym, you know, like an hour or two after I wake up. So let's say I get to the gym for 10, I'll work out from 10 to 12. And by the time I get back from the gym at 12, it'll be like 12, 15, you know, around 12, I'm eating my first meal and I'm already in my window of, intermittent fasting so it kind of just like works for me um i know everybody doesn't obviously have that kind of schedule but i do think that eating in a window um and essentially fasting is also something that helped me kind of like figure out why like it helped me figure out that i was eating too much before i was like doing that you know this is something that i started really like when i started waking up earlier too because i used to have like a really bad sleep schedule i literally used to like sleep until like 11 12 wake up 
and then obviously like eat my first meal or whatever around like two and it was just like not healthy so when i started like getting a better sleep schedule and like waking up at like seven eight o'clock in the morning and starting my day then and then you know being active or like doing work or running errands or whatever around like noon would be when i would first feel hungry so um if you like want more of an in-depth kind of description on intermittent fasting i'll probably like try to find like some articles and link them down below in the description box but just in terms of like me it definitely helped me realize that i was overeating and that i didn't really need to eat as much as i thought that i did um i can get my three meals in and snacks in the eight hours and sometimes i don't even get all three meals like if i'm being honest sometimes i'm so full by like my second meal which is technically lunch which i'll usually eat around like five that i don't necessarily want like a full meal for dinner like i might just you know end up doing like something small that's more so like a snack still high in protein and stuff but like you know i'm trying to be like really good with it and get all three meals and then the two snacks so five all together five like meals all together in my eight hour window but like i said sometimes i'm just like really full because some things i'll eat and it's just like even even with it being super healthy i'm i'm like yeah i'm full like i don't even want to eat again like and i'll just go to sleep and i won't even be hungry like i, I drink a lot of water so i don't know maybe i'm just like filled up on water or whatever so yeah that i feel like i needed to preface before i got into everything that i eat in the day um like i said i don't eat before i go to the gym my workouts are always fasted my cardio is always fasted which I, I i also feel like that helped me lose weight like lose 20 pounds in like three months two months i can't i don't even remember i think it's like two and a half months but i'm gonna just say three 20 pounds in three months yeah i feel like the fasted cardio obviously the whole fasted workout you know your body is when you work out fasted your body is working from your stored fat it's gaining it's grabbing energy from the stored fat that you have in your body because your fat is is the the carbs and everything that you eat you know and it, it keeps it in the pockets to 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 get you through when you're hungry like that's where your body goes for energy so that you can keep going so when you do your your workouts fasted and you do your cardio fasted your body's always going to be grabbing energy from those areas it's kind of like keto but i'm not keto because i'm eating carbs and i'm eating you know i'm not strictly like a high protein diet so i'm not gonna eat before i go to the gym i'm not hungry right now i honestly like i'm just gonna drink some water i just poured myself a cup of water what i do have when i go to the gym that i always i feel like i'm always talking about this on my story but <clears throat> i'm literally obsessed with these it's the alani nutrition um energy drinks i literally love these they're high in vitamin b6 and b12 and they have biotin in them they're sugar free they're naturally flavored and yeah they don't give me the jitters like i've tried so many different pre-workouts and energy drinks and i literally can feel my heart racing when i drink them or when i'm working out in the gym and it kind of scares me because i'm just like oh why why do i literally feel my heart beating out of my chest these do not do that at all and they have 200 milligrams of um caffeine i'm such a coffee girl like if i don't have an iced coffee i'll drink this but like on the days that i do have iced coffee i try not to drink this too because i'm like okay i don't want to do like caffeine overload you know like i don't want to kill myself with caffeine but i prefer these throughout my workout i literally will i walk to the gym put my stuff in my locker go out onto the the grass i start to stretch i'll pop one of these open take a sip and throughout my workout i drink this by the time i get to the end of my weightlifting session which is about an hour i'm done with this and then i go onto the treadmill and i do my cardio workout and I recently started running four miles on the treadmill so I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks and yeah it's like super intense but it's always like really fun and at the end I always feel like I've just accomplished unimaginable like I literally feel like that girl like I'm like wow you just ran four miles on the treadmill like you're really 
you're really out here doing it, you know? And I really feel like it's super snatched my body. So, yeah, today is actually an upper body day. It's back day and abs and core and then cardio. That's literally what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of my Alani's. I've, I'm absolutely obsessed with the witch's brew flavor like literally obsessed it tastes like Halloween to me like I feel like if Halloween had a flavor it would be this like it would literally be this flavor I got two of these <laughs> and then I have kiwi guava and I have the peach one and yeah I'm obsessed I love them so much so and I literally talk about them so much on my story that literally within the last week, I've had three people tell me that they went and they tried it because of me because I'm always like sharing it and they actually love it too. So yeah, it'd be the influence for me. Um, but, but yeah, I'm about to head to the gym. Stomach is on E, but the body is giving. And I'm, but I'm, I'm not hungry, you guys. Like I promise you, I'm not hungry. I know it sounds probably crazy, like to go work out on an empty stomach, but I don't know. Like I feel like that's really what it just works for me. It might not work for you. You might have to have a little something before you get to the gym. If you feel like you're low on energy, if you're just start, starting out on your fitness journey maybe have like a small little yogurt parfait with some granola and some berries or something on top eat that then go to the gym or you could have like a protein bar or something but i wouldn't eat like a super heavy meal because you don't want to feel like sluggish or like way down or anything like that like try to keep it light if you need to eat before but i'm going to show you what i eat after the gym I'm gonna show you what i eat in a day I'm gonna show you how my day goes so yeah i'm about to head to the gym You guys, I'm back from the gym. Don't mind the noise in the background. That's my dryer going. I'm doing a little laundry. But let's get into my post-workout protein shake that I love to make. Um, this gives me the gains and it fills me up. Honestly, I can do just this protein shake in like a small kind of like snack, which I'm gonna do like a yogurt parfait, but I usually eat the yogurt parfait like an hour after the shake because the shake is really filling and I don't really feel hungry like right after consuming it because she does, she is a little thick, you know, she be getting me there. Okay, so let's get into how I make my protein shake post-workout. I always start off with one whole banana, some berries, these are blackberries and strawberries about a cup of oat milk or almond milk this is oat milk some water just because i like my smoothies a little bit more liquidy two scoops of this protein powder is the full serving so i do two scoops and about two tablespoons of peanut butter which has around seven grams of protein in it um, i add some ice of course because i like my shakes cold I, I screw on the top and then i'm going to blend it my little blender um, this is the perfect texture because it's not too thick, but it's definitely a creamier shake. This is like my get thick quick shake as well because of the peanut butter. Sometimes I'll add oats if I'm really trying to feel super full. But I pour it into my little pink tumbler with my straw. And yeah, this is my post-workout smoothie. I drink this every single day I get back from the gym. So yeah. Okay, so this is the protein shake that I make. Personally, the protein powder that I'm using right now, I'm kind of just using because I got it in PR and I ran out of my other favorite protein powder. Link in the description box of my go-to protein powder that I use. It is from Muscle Milk and two scoops is 50 grams of protein as opposed to this one is two scoops is 20 grams of protein. I'm getting less protein with my um, with using this protein powder in this exact same shake, but normally I would have a 50 plus gram protein shake after the gym so it's all based off of what type of protein you like to use this one is plant-based and I will say that I like that with this one it doesn't make me gassy my muscle milk protein powder yeah them protein I don't know if this is TMI but them protein farts <laughs> the protein burps <laughs> it just makes me feel a little bit more bloated um, and it is because it's whey protein as opposed to this one like I said is plant-based so you know they have their pros and cons but i do like the amount of protein that i get with my other 
protein powder. So I'm gonna drink my protein shake and then in about an hour or so, I'm gonna make myself my first little snack. Okay, so it's been about an hour since I drank my protein shake. Now it's time for a little snack. I love to do this yogurt parfait bowl using these Oikios triple uh, zero, 15 grams of protein little yogurt cups. So I always put it into like a little bowl. Um, you heard me right, 15 grams of protein. That's great. They have one that's actually 20, but it's like literally always sold out at my supermarket. So I'll just get the four pack of the 15 gram ones and then I like to go with some granola the granola I like to use from the same brand they have a protein version which means it obviously just has a higher amount of protein per serving as opposed to this one is like a, a standard for granola it does have nuts in it so there is some protein in it but I typically opt for the protein one but of course they were sold out um, so I've tossed some berries on top my same berries from my smoothie blackberries and strawberries um, I'm pretty like you know generous with it and then I drizzle some honey on top and that is my little snack I'm gonna eat this get my protein in it tastes super good and it's great if I'm craving something sweet okay so now it's time to get into like my first real big meal of the day and this is honestly not even that big but it is very filling um, I like to keep things super simple I'm very busy um, throughout the day and honestly after the gym I'm super tired too so I don't want to spend a lot of time cooking especially if I know I'm gonna cook dinner later so I like to keep things super simple and go in with this Caesar salad kit it comes with the croutons the seasoning the Parmesan cheese um, and then I just grill some chicken when I meal prep like at some point during the week so I actually made this chicken a couple of days earlier um, so I already had it in my fridge in a little Tupperware um, and it's cold, which I kind of like. I like my chicken cold in my salad. It's fine when it's warm too, but I, I don't know. There's something about cold chicken in a Caesar salad. It just does something for me. Um, I literally cut that up, toss that in. It comes with the dressing as well. I do the whole pack of the dressing. I'm generous with it. Listen, I'm already eating the salad, so it's okay if I get a little bit of carb and a little fat in my dressing. I eat the entire salad by myself and it holds me over until dinner, which we're gonna get into next. Okay, so we're making grilled chicken, teriyaki stir fry, and jasmine rice. I started off by cleaning my chicken off camera. Clean your chicken how you wanna clean your chicken, girl, okay? I cut off the little fatty pieces. Honestly, this is like my least favorite part about prepping chicken. I literally hate prepping chicken, but I'm very thorough with it because, listen, yeah. I don't play that. Um, so I'm cutting off all the little fatty pieces and then I'm gonna go in and start seasoning. Before I season, I like kind of pat them down a little cause they're wet obviously cause I just washed it very thoroughly. Going in with black pepper. I'm very generous with my seasoning and I don't, I don't have measurements, babe. I just season until my ancestors tell me to stop. That's literally like what I do. So I don't, I'm not gonna have measurements and proportions for you but you can go based off of how you feel you should season your chicken i'm very generous i like my food to have flavor the only thing i kind of don't go too crazy with is salt because i'm very mindful of my sodium intake and just that i want to keep that as low as possible um, because you know high sodium counts in your food make you retain more water which is going to make you obviously look you know plumper and fuller and if you're not going for that look then you obviously don't want that so oil your pan um and then lay your chicken in seasoned side down we're gonna season the other side as well so this is me placing it in my pan um this honestly tasted so good i forgot to mention that citrus garlic seasoning from trader joe's omg that stuff is delicious i'm about to go in and put some more on this side that stuff is so good oh my gosh it tastes so good on chicken it tastes so good on like fish and shrimp um and it also tastes really good on veggies too which you guys are going to see me use it next but flipping my chicken once it's ready to flip um you know cook the other side nice and good you want to cook your chicken like on a medium temp so it doesn't dry it out too fast um but you know you want to make sure it's cooked all the way through and then we're gonna go into another pan and do these ter teriyaki stir fry veggies that I get from my supermarket as well. You can find them at Kroger or Ralph's if you have those in your area. If not, I'm sure your supermarket has something you know very similar. 
um it's literally like all my favorite veggies there's like snow peas in it kale broccoli brussels sprouts carrots i'm doing my same you know seasoning black pepper garlic um the citrus garlic seasoning from trader joe's a little bit of olive oil i toss it around and cook that thoroughly it does come with a teriyaki sauce packet which i'm gonna use but i don't use the full packet because i feel like it could it comes up it could be like a little too salty like it's good but i don't feel like it's necessary to use the entire packet but use to your own discretion you can look at the nutritional facts on the back of the packet and figure out if you want to use the whole thing i use about half of it so and it's good enough for me it tastes amazing um i absolutely love these veggies my man loves them too when i serve it to him he literally licks the plate that's all i gotta say okay and then I'm going to go in and make my jasmine rice. I already washed my rice. It's already washed. Um, filled my water. A Filipino taught me how to, to make rice. That's how I know how to make rice now. Y'all remember when I used to make rice and it used to come out like mashed potatoes? Yeah, your girl learned a thing or two. Shout out, okay? Look at this rice. It looks so good. It's so fluffy. I didn't even burn the bottom of the pan, the bottom of the pot. Now it's time to plate. This meal was so good. Literally. My man literally licked the plate clean. Like, I've never seen him lick the plate before. He loves when I make food. He loves when I cook. He's never complained, but I've never seen him lick a plate before. This was so good. The chicken was so flavorful. Um, it had a really nice kick to it. It was a little spicy, but not too much. The veggies were so yummy. This is a great meal high protein you know clean low carb and if i'm still craving something sweet i'll have a cliff bar the peanut butter banana flavor with the little dark chocolate chips is my absolute favorite this is so good nice little dessert snack and yeah that is what i eat in a day i hope you guys enjoyed i love you and comment down below if you're gonna try any of these meals out bye